Hi everyone. So it's been requested that I do Maleficent next in my Everyday Villains series. So I'm going to be doing a loosely inspired Maleficent look. So I'm going to try something. I haven't actually tried this look, so we'll all be pleasantly surprised or horrified by it. But I am going to try some interesting things. Right. I'm going to get started just by using some uh, moisturizer, which is this um, Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. I have this little black cap on, but it kind of looks silly. I was trying to look Maleficent-esque, but I'm just going to use it to keep my hair back. Okay. I, I made little pigtails, too. There you go. Alright, next I'm going to use this Infinimat. Um which is a foundation. I'm just going to apply this with my fingers. a little with my beauty blender. Okay. And next, um, a little concealer. I'm gonna go along my cheekbone here too to give extra highlight Alright, and then I'm going to take a little powder, it's just my regular powder. And just go over everything and set it. There we go. Alright. And now for the contouring. I'm going to be using these colors by Bare Minerals. This is the part I'm nervous about. I'm not sure how this is going to go. But I have in this bag a little brush that I used for the Ursula video. I'm going to be using the wearable green medium. 
That's what it's called. I'm trying not to get it everywhere. I'm just going to tap it into the cap. It's just probably just going to make me look dirty. It's not too bad. It'll look better once everything's all blended. This side comes up higher than this side. I have to fix this one. Try to put a little line in here to make my chin look pointier. Okay. Now I'm going to be using this wearable green light. I'm going to use this brush. Honestly, I look more like an extra from Les Miserables than like Maleficent. This side is not blending as well. Alright, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna go all over with the green. And that's kind of what I was going for, just like a kind of a sickly look. This looks a lot darker in the video than it actually is. But she does have very intense cheekbones. All right. Oh, I made a mess. Next up, I'm going to use my, oh, it landed on my arm. That's nice, I didn't lose it. I'm getting low on this stuff. That's not good. That's way too much. <laughs> that might be why I'm getting low. Okay. Uh. 
All right. Now it's to decide on a purple. So I have, I think the jasmine purple is probably the best. Yes. I'm trying to decide if I like this one better, but I think that one's too blue. So I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to start by taking my fluffy brush and using this color right here. Sweeping this all over. Maleficent's eyeshadow goes all the way up to her brow, as they all do, I guess. I was thinking about something else. All the Disney villains that are women, like most of them want to be younger and more beautiful. Isn't that kind of a crappy depiction? They're all like vain. Using the same brush, I'm going to go in with the darker purple. on making that my shadow and my hollow of my eye look really intensified. a rainy day today but we're hearing now that the hurricane is not going to touch down which is good on land anyway <sighs> I'm just going to go back into the lighter purple for a minute and just blend out the edges so that everything looks blended good Next, I'm going to take my little NYX palette and a little eyeshadow brush and this matte black. And I'm going to darken the corners. Just to kind of give my eyes like a little bit more of a lifted shape and make it look a little more dramatic. Because I have so much eyeshadow on already, it kind of blends nicely into that. Next, I'm going to take a small brush with the purple and drag it underneath.
And with the same little brush, I'm going to do my lashes, I mean, my brows. Spooly. Actually, what I was thinking about doing next is the queen from um, Enchanted. I know that's not like a, your typical thing, but I did her makeup look once and I really liked it. And so I might do that again. Okie dokie. Now going in with my tattoo liner. I'm going to make a pretty severe cat eye. Maybe even longer. And like this Maleficent, what was her thing was she was just pissed because she didn't like get invited to the party. I mean, come on. Hell hath no fury. I'm trying to get the same line. Urban Decay, Black on the Waterline, okay, Curling of Lashes. Well, actually, you know, I just bought this Fantasy Makers by Wet n Wild. It's purple. Let's see how this works. It smells weird. <laughs> it doesn't smell like mascara. And also, like, you... It's like hardly showing up. Eh. Oh well, 
It was like two dollars. Hmm. All right, that's pretty good. Lastly, some red lipstick, of course. I wish there was like a little bit more of the green. So what I'm gonna do is take this little brush guy that I used before and go into my electric palette. Oh yeah, that was the touch that I needed. And I'm going to kind of use it where I would use a highlight. All right, there we go. So this is a look that you really can't wear outside unless you want people to look at you weird. But I kind of like it. I've never really been a huge Maleficent fan. Um, I was never a big Sleeping Beauty fan. Um, I mean, I guess the idea of like a woman sleeping and literally doing nothing until her prince comes together is like kind of eh. and she never really got to live her life because those three annoying fairies like made her a prisoner essentially which was like almost worse than what Maleficent did to her you can tell I had some strong feelings but there we go there's Maleficent let me know in the comments if there's something else you'd like to see bye